So before we move into the details of Atlas A, let's take a look briefly at medical imaging. The development of techniques for looking into the body without having to do exploratory surgery has greatly accelerated the progress of medicine. A few of these techniques are described in the following slides. First of all, we're probably all familiar with radiography or x-rays. They're a form of high energy radiation and were discovered by William Rowentgen in 1885. X-rays can penetrate soft tissue of the body and darken the photographic film on the other side. They're absorbed by more dense tissues, such as bone and teeth, and thus those show up as lighter colors. Over half of all medical imaging is x-ray technology. Until the 1960s, it was the only method that was widely available. Soft tissue is not going to show up nearly as well on x-rays as it will on some of the other imaging techniques. We can also use radio-opaque substances, like in this cerebral angiogram on the right. These substances can either be injected or swallowed. In this case, a substance has been injected into the circulatory system and then has been enhanced by color enhancing techniques. This could also be used to discover issues with the intestinal tract. Swallowing a radio opaque substance will allow that whole tract to show up white in an x-ray. The CT scan is a more sophisticated application of x-ray technology. It was developed in 1972. In this technique, a patient's moved through a ring-shaped machine that emits low-intensity x-rays on one side and receives them with a detector on the opposite side. A computer analyzes the signals from the detector and produces an image in a slice. The slices are only about as thick as a coin. And then the computer can stack all of these slices and come up with a three-dimensional image. The color in this image is added after the x-ray in order to accentuate the visualization of different densities of tissues. PET scans are another technique, positron emission tomography. It assesses the metabolic state of tissue at any given moment. We inject radioactively labeled glucose. It's labeled with tritium, which is H3. And as the glucose is metabolized, these positrons collide with electrons and gamma rays are given off. They're detected by a sensor and analyzed by a computer. And the image color shows which tissues were using the most glucose at any given moment. The areas that would appear dark in a PET scan are where there's tissue damage. There's no glucose metabolism. MRIs are another type of technology used for identifying soft tissue. It was also developed in the 1970s, and it's superior to the CT scan for soft tissues. Again, the patient lies in a cylindrical chamber. It's surrounded by a large electromagnet that creates a magnetic field. It's about 3,000 to 60,000 times as strong as the Earth's magnetic field. Hydrogen atoms in the tissue align themselves with this magnetic field. The radiologic technologist will turn on a field of radio waves, causing the hydrogen atoms to absorb the additional energy and align in a different direction. When those waves are turned off, the hydrogen atoms realign themselves, and thus they give off their excess energy at different rates and thus produce different levels of gray. Again, this image has been enhanced. The second oldest and the second most widely used technique is sonography or ultrasound. This is where we use high frequency sound waves that echo back from internal organs and produce an image. The benefit here is that they're not harmful like x-rays and they can be used to do ultrasounds in obstetrics to view a baby without doing any harm. The image, however, is not very sharp. So this was just a brief introduction to several of the most popular imaging techniques. 
Take a moment here, close your books, close your notes, and see how much you can remember about the different medical imaging techniques. You should have five to six different techniques. Write down what type of tissue each one is best for viewing, and then anything else that you can remember about each. Again, don't be afraid to get it wrong. Mix it up, get it wrong, check into your notes, check into the lecture slides, and fill in the details. This is how we're going to learn the material. We'll see you soon as we explore Atlas A.